real cases before a real judge. And now, enter the courtroom of Judge Mathis. Plaintiff Nije Jackson dated the defendant, but she claims he constantly accuses her of being gay and in a relationship with her witness. Nije says the defendant offered her $20 to make out with her witness in front of him and $30 to have sex. Nije is suing her ex-boyfriend for damaged property and emotional distress. Defendant Merle Baker says he knows Nije is in a homosexual relationship with her witness because he saw them having sex. Merle's countersuing for emotional distress because he claims Nije not only cheated on him with her witness, but she also tried to get with his brother, who's with him in court. Start with you. Okay, well, I'm here today because Merle Baker, my ex-boyfriend, is out of control. He accuses me of being gay with my friend and witness here, Jasmine Plummer. And that's, I seen it with my eyes. That's false, and that's a lie. What'd He's, you see? I'm see just it. saying, as a testimony. You're right. testing. <laughs> <laughs> so I seen it with my eyes that they was having sex. You were there? Yeah, I was outside, went to go get my stuff, and you know what I said? I looked in the window, I seen it. If he Man, could see no in the window, it. how could you see in the window when there's curtains? Uh, you had the and curtains Jasmine down? Was, the curtains were down. Oh, and then you, why are you admitting it? He just did it. I'm not, You're admitting I'm not, it. I'm not saying that we were, me and Jasmine were doing anything wrong. Well, that's what we're talking about. Me and Jasmine don't have any sexual relations. Well, what were y'all doing with the curtains down in there? The curtains were just down. Me and Jasmine weren't even in the room together. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, so he came over to the dorms talking about, here's $20 if you guys will make out, or here's... <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you already got the free show. It was so good. You, you figure you would pay an extra 20 for that, Doc. <laughs> no, not even. He said, that was so good, I'll give y'all 20 yeah, he was no, like, here's $30 no. if you guys will have sex in front of me. That's which, terrible. That's a terrible thing. Yeah, which clearly... False. That yeah, he, you're he, like, terrible he just wants man. to watch us be gay together. Obviously, that's what he wanted to see. Or he wanted to join in or terrible. something. Go it's ahead. not the truth. So, so, about... I would say I left that night to go home and take a shower and go to sleep. Well, I took off my clothes and put them in the dirty clothes hamper. And I get out of the shower. Merle's hovering over the dirty clothes hamper. Oh, he Oh, you nasty! <laughs> Everybody, oh, that's enough God. for this. That's enough. That's enough. What? And people have fetishes no like that. Way. Whatever. Let's leave all that alone. We're done oh, with that. No. So he was falsely no. accusing me of doing things that I wasn't doing. So gotcha. I was like, you know what? I'm done with this. Fed up. I left to go stay at the dorms for a couple of days, yeah. which she doesn't live in the. What dorms. college do you all attend? Feather River. So. I was staying at the dorm for a couple of days because I was done with the situation. And I would say by November 3rd, I broke up with him. Mm -hmm. And then, so I was still staying at the dorms and I offered him to stay at the house where he was not paying rent at, even though he was supposed to be. No rent, no bills. I offered him to stay there since he had nowhere to live until his mom got him a plane ticket to go home. So November 7th, we were all at the club having a good time. About me and eight of my friends were just in the club dancing. From the moment he got into the club, he had his eyes on me. He would not let me do anything. He would watch me the whole entire time. I don't blame you. You wanted to see what was about to happen, <laughs> did you? No, Go ahead. I wasn't stalking. He was stalking. Mm -hmm. So, um, a little bit later, he darted across the room out of nowhere and pushed Jasmine, who obviously Your cannot, witness? yeah, mm -hmm. cannot defend herself against him. He pushed her into the wall, and the club owners grabbed him and kicked him out. And he was banned from the club ever since then. You want to come up and speak? Okay. okay. State your name. Okay, my name is Jasmine Plummer. And okay, you tell me what happened. Well, me and the Jays are on the same basketball team, mm -hmm. and, like, I usually go over her house all the time. Like, we used to be cool. Like, mm -hmm. it was no problem. And then, like, he just started tripping. Like, uh, I guess, like, at the club, he just said, get away from her or, like, it was like eight people over there, and mm -hmm. he picked me to say, get away from her and all okay. this other stuff, and push me. Like, I'm not doing nothing. Okay, all right. Sir, you tell me about this uh, alleged assault against the young lady. Okay, sir. We was at the club. 
I'm no stalker. I mean, she's cute, but she's not, you know, Laura maybe, London Maybe cute. a sniffer, but not a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not even a sniffer. That's not, oh, that's right. not me. That's not me. <laughs> so um, I'm on the wall with uh, a couple more of my road dogs. Jackson, Miss Jackson come up, and she just started dancing on me, right? So Jasmine, you know what? how they got they got their little thing that they was already doing or whatever. So I guess she seen the Jay come over there dancing on me. She got jealous. I mean, I didn't put my hands on her. What did she I, do? Who, Jasmine? Yeah. She came over there, tried pulling the Jay away from me and all that. So I am then we just got into it. It was just words, but I didn't put my hands on nobody. Okay, I was that's like, a lie. what? Nobody I was like, get out of my face. Cause words. she's like four foot two and I'm six foot. I'm a football player. Did they boy. put you out of the club? Yeah. Why? Because it was a big altercation. Because you threw her into the wall? Physical altercation? No, it wasn't physical. Why didn't they throw her out also? I have no idea. When I went outside the club, that's when I got into a fight with somebody else. Oh, you got so into I another know, fight? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what happened it's with them aggressive. in the club. What do you want to tell me about the property and the emotional distress you're suing him for? Well, the next day after that whole club incident, I came home knowing that Merle wasn't there. And I had Jasmine help me get a couple of my things because I wasn't going to be staying there anymore. Because, to be honest, I'm mm -hmm. kind of scared of him. Right. So Merle, I guess somebody tipped him off that we were there. So with less than a minute of us being there, he came over there and he tried to get in through the front door. Well, I locked the door because I wasn't going to let him get in the house when I'm there and Jasmine's there as mm -hmm. well. And he's assaulted both of us. So then he tries to get in through the window and he rips off the screen, rips the screen apart and everything. And then after he ripped off the screen, he tried to go through the back door because he couldn't get in the front door or the window. So when he went to the back door, he's like slamming the back door, ripping off the screen to the back door and everything. Couldn't get in the back door, runs back to the front door and kicks the front door in. The, he broke the whole door jam and everything. Did you call the police by then? After he came in and got my phone right. and threw it to the ground and assaulted Jasmine and me again, then I called the cops, but I didn't, I filed a report, but I didn't do like a criminal report okay. or anything like that. He c accuses me of being gay with my friend and witness here, Jasmine Plummer. And that's, I with my eyes. that's false and that's a lie. What'd He's you see? Plaintiff Nijay Jackson is suing her ex-boyfriend who claims he caught Nijay having sex with her witness. So the damaged property is how much? Um, I think it's about 800. And then the balance is for the emotional distress? Yeah. All right, sir. OK, sir. With that subject, she had put me out the house, and I was going to get my belongings. Mm -hmm. So I went over to the house, and you know, I knocked on the door. I ain't heard no, I, then nobody answered. So I walked to the back. I seen a car right there. So I'm knocking on the window back there. I put my ear to the window to see if anybody was in the room. I heard some moaning. At this point, you know, my brother had already called, you know what I'm saying, just to checking up on me and stuff, making sure everything was good at school. So I'm on the phone with him, and I'm like, you know what I'm saying, she's in there <laughs> having sex. So I was like, no. So um, I went to the front of the house, and I kicked the door in to get what was mine. So why don't you think you should pay for the damages? I didn't say I shouldn't pay for the damages. Okay. I said I shouldn't really? pay for, for the phone and the other door. Cause I didn't, I didn't have nothing to do with me. Really? You shouldn't pay for my phone when this is what you did to my phone? You, you ran, you he ran into the... Did I do that? I did the TV file on your phone when you tried to get Hulk. No, he... started knocking he everything over. He pretty much mm -hmm. ran into the room, grabbed my phone, oh. ran outside, and he's like, you want your phone back? You want your phone back? Here it is. Slams it to the ground, all in the rock, shatters the screen and everything. Your counterclaim for $500 is for emotional distress. What did she do to you? The reason why we're not together is because she's scandalous. I mean, she, I call her having sex with her right here. And then on False. top of that, she tried to talk to my brother, which is right here. So... That's not even your brother. So then... Can I talk? Can I have my moment? Can I have my moment? That's not your brother. So she get drunk one night, and she tells him, she said, what? I had... She said, I had sex with, uh, with a girl, and I came and kissed you. Okay, so I'm like, okay, so I start cussing her out. We were what did you tell up? her? Why you said, cut out the middle, man. Let me go kiss the other girl directly. <laughs> 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 nah, 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 not even. Go ahead. She wasn't like what I was saying to her when I was cussing her out. So she hits me, you know. Naman, did you hit him? No, I never put my hands on Merle. Go ahead. <laughs> you have any evidence that she hit you? No, sir. Okay. No, sir, not at all. So when she pushed me out, 
you know, not thinking about it, I ain't got nowhere to go, and I was paying my rent there, you know. You I were got, paying your rent there at the yeah. house? Oh. Yes, I, oh, okay. Where, was he a tenant? Did you all live together? Yeah, but I was, he wasn't even on the lease. I told him Doesn't that he Doesn't matter, you all there. were living together. We yeah, I told agreement. him that he could stay there, and he but never paid rent or she put you bills. out for fear of harm to her. No, sir, I never It's called an hand. emergency I... eviction because she feared for her life. You've admitted to kicking down the door. That was illegal, clearly. And anything that followed that incident is, um, is consequential damage. With regard to the emotional distress, you have no evidence that she hit you. She denies it. Your character indicates by your own admission that you are a violent person, not her. Have a good day. Judgment for the plaintiff Thank yours you. is dismissed. You calling me, telling me what he ain't doing, and woo, 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 and talking, you know, talking about stuff that shouldn't be. We should be close talking friends about. with him. Tell I was him. telling but you about him. Don't have nothing to do with me. I'm all the way back in the ville. Because you, you always talk to me. him. I'm That's why Cali, I called man. you to straighten him out. But obviously but you couldn't. Y'all shouldn't But nobody tried to get at him. Though. Talk to him. But you nobody was, tried to get at him though. Was, That's very disgusting. I would never do that. Okay. Getting live and stuff and cracking. I would never do that.